Colette Klein, and I'm an elementary teacher. This past year I was a first, second grade teacher, but prior to that I was teaching kindergarten and I pretty much taught everything up through grade five other than third grade. Um, so I'd like you to imagine a classroom where technology has integrated the culture so much that Skype answering is one of the classroom jobs. All of the kids are blogging. There's a classroom blog. At the end of each day, the teacher is asking students to think about something that they've learned that they think is important enough to share on Twitter. That these students are connecting not only within their own community, but across the United States and around the world. These students are using iPads not just as game apps, but to document their learning. They are using Google to research independently things for their writing. And now imagine that these students are kindergartners. And this is a real classroom. This is the classroom of Sharon Davison. She's a kindergarten teacher in Williston, Vermont. And she was the inspiration for my capstone project. I'd always known that I wanted to be more effective at integrating technology into my classroom, and that's why I started the program here at Marlboro to begin with. Um, and then I went to a workshop at Vermont Fest a couple of years ago, and Sharon was presenting a workshop on blogging in kindergarten. And it was there that it really drove home for me how effective and meaningful technology can be when it is implemented purposefully and when the question is, how is this going to move learning forward, not how am I going to use technology today? So I decided that I wanted to create the same sort of classroom. This was a model that I was passionate about, and that is what drove my capstone work. This kind of a classroom can't happen overnight, and in Sharon's experience, she had let us know that she started her first year with just a blog, a classroom blog that she made sure that she was putting something up every day, getting the children involved in what that was going to be. Um, and over time, as she became more confident with different technologies, she expanded that and added to that. And where she is today is six years worth of work. So I also decided to start small, but I tend to be a thematic thinker. So I needed to find a way to create something that was more thematic. I was going to start with a unit that I would be able to implement technology throughout the unit and then expand that. And the platform for that was Flat Stanley, which is a book by Jeff Brown in which the main character is squashed but otherwise unharmed by a bulletin board in his sleep and goes on many adventures. And one of the adventures is visiting some cousins in California. And because he was now flat, his parents could afford to send him through the mail in an envelope rather than being uh, necessary to buy a plane ticket. And so in 1995, Dale Hubert created the Flat Stanley Project, which was an exchange of Flat Stanleys from different schools so that there could be connections. And I decided to use that unit to integrate technology um, for myself. And then that was, the goal was that this would be a springboard. Once I had created this unit, I would expand what I had learned into new units as well. Um, so the goal was to use technology in such a way that it was not an add-on, that it became part of my classroom culture, and it was a tool that hopefully we would use as we use papers, pencils, and math manipulatives. It would just become part of what we did. Oops. So we used a lot of different technologies as part of this unit. Google Earth was very engaging. The students loved that. We had to spend a lot of time finding our school, finding our own addresses, finding places that were meaningful to us before we could actually go on to using it the way I had intended, which was to virtually visit the destinations of the places where we would be sending our flat Stanleys. So then they could see where the flat Stanleys were going in relationship to where we were here in Vermont. Uh, we were also blogging as the Stanleys returned we would decide what we learned from the different places where Stanley had gone, and then we would put that on the class blog. 
we were using internet resources to research not only where we were going to send the Stanleys, but also what information we wanted to share about Bennington and about Vermont with others. We also were intended to use an infographic, which is up in the, the slide there, uh, which would track where Stanley went and when Stanley returned. I had created that in my instructional design course. And the hiccup there was I had signed into PictoChart using Facebook because they make it easy to do that now. Um, unfortunately, our district blocks Facebook. So when I tried to edit it with students, I couldn't do that because I couldn't log in to the editing page at school because I had to access Facebook, which was blocked. Um, we also watched a GoAnimate video that taught about the post office and sending mail as well as a Captivate project that discussed community helpers, both of which I had also created in the instructional design course. All the while, within the classroom, we were documenting where the Stanleys has visited through a classroom bulletin board, as well as a map of the United States and the world, um, where we colored the different locations as the Stanleys returned. We had created the maps using the smart board and projecting the image up on the smart board and then the students traced along the boundary so that we could create the maps. And we were also exchanging Stanleys with other schools. One uh, we exchanged was with a school from London. And the students used Pit Collage, which is an iPad app to document what the visiting Stanleys were doing with us. And then we were able to email those back to the school where they had come. So my big deliverable really was just one thing. My goal was to create a website where I could archive what I had learned in the Flat Stanley unit and then use that to recreate what I had learned the following year and expand on that. As I was putting that resource together, I realized that I'm really not the only one in this position. There are a lot of teachers who would like to integrate technology and aren't really sure how they want to do that. So I didn't want it to just be a for me website. I wanted it to be something that lots of people could use. So I added some resources. Not only did I document what I had done with the Flat Stanley unit, but I also added tutorials that uh, I created on Camtasia to teach how to get started with KitBlog for other teachers who may wish to do that. After I finished the Flat Stanley unit, I found quite a few new resources, including um, a really great Edmodo resource where you digitally send flat Stanleys that I added, and also Skype. One of my goals had been to use Skype with this unit. It never happened. I had wanted to have some face-to-face -face encounters with the schools that we were exchanging the flat Stanleys with, and it just sort of didn't come to fruition. So I did um, quite a bit of research on some Skype resources as well, so that I had it right into that unit and it would be in the front of my mind when I expand and continue with the technologies that I'm using. Hopefully a teacher going to this resource would be able to either recreate the Flat Stanley unit as I had done, or look at the different technologies that were used and get ideas for how they could use them in their classroom in a more general way. And so then, moving forward, my goal in starting this project was to have a springboard. What something that was going to move me forward, propel me in my implementation of technology in my classroom so that next year, not only could I do the Flat Stanley unit, but I could add on to that. And I've already continued with that momentum. I have started a summer reading blog with my students. Doesn't have quite the participation yet that I'm hoping for, but I've had one student blog. Um, and in doing so, I kind of decided that I really wanted to ask my colleagues, my other second grade team members, to join me in this. And they were really excited, but didn't feel like they knew enough about blogging. So could I please take the lead on that? So I feel like I've kind of come full circle. Where I began this project, I wasn't very comfortable, wasn't sure I had the skills to implement technology effectively. Now I feel confident and comfortable in my abilities. I've learned some more technologies. I feel like I can use those effectively. So now I'm teaching others who are in the place where I started. So over the summer, hopefully I'll be teaching those second grade team members how they can use blogging. And it won't be something that they just do when I'm taking charge of it, but they'll start doing it themselves in the classroom next year so that 
not only am I taking this unit and building on what I will be doing in the classroom, but I'm also going to take this unit and build on what my colleagues are doing with technology in the classroom as well. And that's my red flag, but I think I'm finished. <laughs>